<laughs> or, say, say hi, I'm Jay. Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm Laura, and this is our van toaster, and Jay's going to show you how he's going to install Sumo Springs on the van. And that's right. all I know. So let's get going. So this is a Sumo Spring. So we were having trouble in crosswinds with the too much side-to-side -side swaying motion. So this should really help with that. They're like helper springs. The the factory ones are about half the size, and when I get one of the, the other ones off, I'll bring it up here so you can see it in comparison to the new ones. These are much bigger uh, and allow a lot more support with the van from cross motion like that. So I'm gonna jack up the back of the van just a little bit, make it easier to get under there, because I have to crawl all the way underneath. You had to go get a giant jack. Anything you'd like to tell us about this? Well, the van is what, <laughs> close to 9,000 pounds, and my little floor jack wasn't going to handle no. it. So it was time for a man size a man jack. Man size jack. <laughs> okay. this beach up in the air. Well, with the fun of a gravel driveway. Yeah. I have to crawl underneath. So I'll leave this here. And then come down with me so you can see what's going on. Okay. The installation of these is pretty straightforward. You can take a screwdriver and a hammer. And there's little edges around here where you can take the hammer, put the screwdriver up here, and just give it a couple good whacks, and it'll loosen up, which I've already got this one loose, okay. and then it just spins off. Oh, looky there. So it's pretty straightforward. It's like a light bulb. Yep. This will take a while to screw off, though. All oh, right there on. it comes. Oh, whoa, there it is. And here it is. Oop, and you throw it. So this is the difference between the stock one and the new sumo spring. They add quite a bit of uh, so when the spring comes up to hit this, we're gonna be almost, the spring's gonna be touching this probably full time almost uh, while we're moving. So it just adds a whole lot more support to the vehicle when we're moving. Jay had to go with plan B and put the jack in a different position since he couldn't seem to find a way to wriggle the sumo spring in. So I had to move the jack uh, Winnebago makes it a little difficult to use the factory jack points because of things like the gray waste tank and fun stuff like that. So I had to find a different jack location that would drop the axle low enough to put allow this big so spring to fit in here. So it gets up there now? Let's see. It's still not going to fit. Really? <laughs> I think it's still not quite, oh. not quite there. Maybe. Wow. Oh, it's close. Take out one of this. Comes with two spacers. Yeah. I'm going to have to go with one spacer instead of two. And then you say some people like that anyway. So uh, just a lot. It's probably a a 50 50 thing. A lot of people prefer the the single spacer over the double Why? spacer. Anyhow, not quite as stiff. Oh, okay. So okay. I thought I'd go with the double spacer to try to get maybe a little bit extra lift to keep the generator up off the ground just a little right. higher. But at the end of the day. If it doesn't work that way, it doesn't work. Okay. So now, went from two spacers to one spacer. They give you both size bolts in the kit. So if you go oh. with the one spacer, you just have to replace the long bolt with the short bolt. And there we go. On there. A little Loctite. Oh. Put some Loctite on the threads. <sighs> You're doing great. All right. Here we go, try again. Uh, okay. And she's in. Well, hooray! And Good job. Let's get out of here. Let's. So the bottom of the look at the left one there. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's basically touching oh. the spring now. Whereas before with the stock ones, there was probably a two inch gap. So okay. now they're right down right on the uh just making contacts huh. with the spring. Interesting. Okay. So there's no delay before, you know, when oh, the spring, that when makes the spring moves up, it immediately is in contact with the, the helper spring, which is a sumo spring, as it helps it. These are the front sumo springs, coil springs. So what they're gonna do, if you can see in the description here, they're gonna go, she go in between oh. the coils so that they can't compress as much. Same effect as the back ones, just different type of springs. Hmm. What's the soap and water for? Right, so we have to things, get clean, them clean. Okay. and then 
in order to put these on, it doesn't really require any tools, but it does require a little brute force. And so having the springs, having the sumo springs soapy makes them easier to get on. There's a, a deeper groove and a shallow groove. The deeper groove goes on the bottom. Oh, they just pull apart. Okay. Yeah, they just pull apart, but it's not it's not easy. <laughs> it's not doing anything. What made you finally get it? Just just luck. No, just, just messing just with it. Effort, just There it is. <sighs> that took about ten minutes break. Yeah. Yeah. Good job! <laughs> Thanks for watching Toaster Travels. Check out our other videos and our adventures.